It's a weird concept, but thousands of Tucsonans do it every October. Haunted houses in this area are gearing up for their biggest weekend yet. So we sent Not In Your Side's Marcelino Benito to scope out the slaughterhouse for us today. He's live from there tonight with more. Yeah, guy, we spent the day here at the slaughterhouse getting a behind the scenes look at what goes in to making this happen each and every night. And those of you who know me best know that haunted houses are definitely not my thing, but I did get the chance to meet a guy like this. <laughs> The slaughterhouse, just your average building by day, but when the sun goes down, the haunt begins. The reaction on the face is probably priceless. Spooky lighting, just the beginning of an experience that'll keep you up at night. Fear lurking around every corner. I'll come at you, make you feel like you're really gonna get hurt and destroyed in this whole haunt, make you feel unsafe. Foolish clowns. Crazed butchers in rooms covered with blood, all of it fake, of course, send a chill ah! up your spine. I've had a lady pee her pants. I've had groups of people cry, groups of people that have had to be escorted out, fall on the ground, run. It's all part of an elaborate setup that begins hours before showtime, a job the actors and the people who turn them into evil things take seriously. They're paying to get scared, so you have to put on the best show that you can. So when the lights start to flicker and the music starts to play, they're just absolutely terrified of you. They want your heart to start to race. They want to keep you guessing and maybe make sure you don't get out at all. Now, they expect a really busy weekend out here at the slaughterhouse. They tell me they expect somewhere between 5,000 to 7,000 people to come out here. They've expected 20,000 throughout the month of October, so it should be a pretty busy weekend for them. We're live from the slaughterhouse tonight. I'm Marcelino Benito, Kagan 9 on your side. And this is just one of the options for people, isn't it? Absolutely, Guy. There's tons of options for people in terms of haunted housing, just things to do this weekend for Halloween. We'll have a complete list on our website, kegan9.com. Thank you, Marcelino. You think he's going to have any nightmares? <laughs> I, wow. <laughs> Second calling, maybe. Let's see what weather nature is scaring up in the weather department, shall we? Here's not in your side. <laughs>